Not good. Hello, June. Hi, Renee. How are you? Good. Good. Well, this is June Ritterbush, and she owns Salado Winery. And this is going to be a very informal, casual interview. It'll be a little bit on the quicker side. June's kind of hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a few questions, and I just want you to know that whatever I ask her on this, if you have any other questions or if you want to come down here and just meet June, she is here. Um, she'll provide you with the hours that she's open, but she's fun and very, very interesting. So let me begin. June, um, how long has the winery been in business? Renee, we started in December 2005, so we're coming up on 15 years. Wow, has it been that long? Yeah, remember we started out in the little blue building next door. Right, right. And, uh, we had about 800 square feet. Okay. And we bought this building in 2008. We moved over here in 2008. Wow. And then I think you might have known me since 2009. Yeah. That's when we did the first wine festival. Yes, yes. And then I was at that one. That, mm -hmm. that was for sure. Um, is your or or vineyard the same? Is it remained in the same place? Do you just keep expanding on that? So we planted our vineyard in 2005. Uh -huh. And the first year it was just a test. So we called it the test vineyard. We planted right. 450 vines. Mm -hmm. And then the second year we stopped calling it a test. We were like, okay, this is it. This is really working. And then we saw it's a lot of work. And we said, this is the vineyard. And we dropped the word test. <laughs> <laughs> no more doing these little test areas because we're going to make this one work. Yes. This is it. So uh, we have 450 vines and we hmm. have had the very first year in 2006, we had 500 pounds of grapes. And every year since then, I've had a couple tons to several tons of grapes off of that. Wow. Let me ask you, is that normal? I mean, um, that seems like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's really hard for people to understand in this area if they grow hay. Because hay is like, you go out there a couple times a year. It's just a little bit of work. Uh -huh. This is very labor intensive in a very small piece of ground. Right, right. So it... To me, it seems like it'd make a little bit of sense that it is kind of consolidated because it's easier to control, but with the volume of what it's producing doesn't make it really sound easy. <laughs> <laughs> do you do tours? We just spontaneously take people around. We don't okay. have like a set time or and we don't charge extra for it. Mm -hmm. If we're if it's slow, we we have time we show people around. Very good. Okay, that wasn't one of my questions, but um, this one is a little bit different. We kind of talked about it. Um, what did, uh, what brought your soul to going into this venture? When I originally came up with the idea, I knew I really wanted to start a business in Salado. I mm -hmm. had moved here with the military and I spent 10 years on active duty with the Army. I was a Huey pilot and a Black Hawk pilot. I knew you were a pilot, yeah. yes, yes. And um, I, one of the things I really liked about being a pilot and an officer in the Army was I had to know a little bit about a lot of different things. Right. So that has served me really well in the wine business because I had need to know a little bit about growing grapes, a little bit about making wine, and a little bit about how to sell wine. Right. And I have to admit the selling is my favorite part because I enjoy sharing it with everybody. You're just answering three <laughs> questions that I'm going to ask you. But. So um, originally I thought of the whole idea because I was interested in agritourism. Right. And I thought that we needed to bring some agritourism to Salado. I, thought oh, I agree. Was, yeah. it, was, it was already a touristy area. Right. Right. And I wanted to bring that wine aspect to it. Right, because it's a very art area, mm -hmm. art created and, yes, feeling to it. But you still give that impression, too, because you're having your showing art events yeah. and, and everything else, Like, and you're bringing in all the locals, is that right? Yeah, so we have a couple of different ways that we help promote art. One is the annual wine, Texas Wine and Rogue Art Fest. That right, we, that is so much fun. <laughs> we usually get a few thousand people. Yes. It's the last weekend of March this year. It's the 28th and 29th of March. Right. And we always have about 20 Texas wineries come and um, another 40 different vendors. And it mm -hmm. ranges from food and art and um wine accessories and things. Mm -hmm. but the other way we promote art is we have in our party room we rotate which artist. And I don't know if you heard the hammering, but yeah, we're right. hanging up a new show right now. Is that for Milton? Is yeah. That oh, I saw that print. I was like, oh, now that's, um, I think that's an acrylic painting. Is that right? Or I can't remember. If, I think his might be oil. Oh, it might be oil. Okay, I didn't look into it, so I'm yeah. not really sure. But I want that picture. <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful. you got to come and see the artists around here as you're sipping on wine. So um, I think we pretty much answered a couple of questions, but um, what would be your typical day? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, 
in the winter time, I tend to come to the winery and take care of bookkeeping and mm -hmm. um, computer related tasks in the morning. Mm -hmm. I often hide and um, sometimes people are like, I saw your car, but the door was shut. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. hiding. <laughs> it was wine. <laughs> And then in the afternoons, of course, we're serving customers. Uh -huh. um, and then in the springtime, it switches, and I spend time out in the vineyard in the morning. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you out there by yourself in the in, in the vineyard? Uh, occasionally, but I have close neighbors. Oh, do you? So, do you? Do can people join you? Can they do anything out there? I remember one time that you had an event, mm -hmm. and people could go out there and uh, trim or prune or. Mm -hmm. I guess pick During grapes. harvest season, we invite okay. people to come help pick grapes. That's the only time. Note that. Okay. Harvest season. This is and like I, so much fun, okay? Harvest season is late July, early August, and I usually have it on my website and on Facebook. Okay. The, and it's usually a Saturday morning for the first few hours of the day. People are welcome to come help. Salado Winery Company. And is that SalatoWinery.com on the website, and I have a Facebook page, which is a great way. Right. The Facebook would tell you all the local, or I should say, all the upcoming events. Okay, so we pretty much, you had said the sales was your favorite part. Yeah, because I enjoy meeting people and talking oh. to them, and I want everyone to have the perfect wine, and so I sell yeah. some other wines besides what I make, oh. because I really want people to go home with the right bottle. <laughs> yeah, you want, the, it's just like in real estate, I mean, I'm not here to just, this isn't about money, it's about, it's a little egotistical, but it's about those people that come to me, I want to find that home for them because I want them saying, oh, I love it, I love it. Exactly, and I know? want them to come back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go, and refer. Um, what would be three words that would describe you? Oh, I come across as very bubbly, but I'm a very smart businesswoman underneath. I think if you were a pilot that has to speak volumes, I, I was going to say that's probably the one thing most people don't know about you is that you yeah because I'm um, well past my military service and yeah. um, I tell people the story when they ask but um, that is not the first thing that they would even guess you did. yeah <laughs> they don't really come across as a typical pilot my husband is still working on base and he does the simulators for the Apache oh and see I was a Black Hawk pilot yeah. that's different than the Apaches <laughs> yeah. so well, you know what I mean but it's still there is a type kind of a type cast of pilots mm -hmm. and you just don't really fit that mold, I should say. So that's not a bad thing. I, I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm not judging. Um, okay. So now we know that the grapes are wonderful. But with time and science, they kind of evolve into like, and I'm going to use mystical drink. Can you provide us like, um, without giving any secrets away, what it is, what little thing tweaks it past that point of fermenting that turns it into like a gem? something really special. The most important part is to start out with good grapes. It's, is that the key yeah, to it? It's really um, all about the quality of the grapes? You know, because it's just like in your world, if the house doesn't have good bones, it's, True. it's True not that. a good purchase. And I feel the same way about the wine. you got to start with good grapes. And I always, I always joke with my Chardonnay, we leave it unoaked. And we try to keep it tart and fruity the way it was in the vineyard. Uh -huh. And we do that because we want it to be refreshing because it's hot so much here. Right. Yeah. And so I always joke with people when they like my Chardonnay. I say, oh, good. I didn't mess it up. Like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't screw around with yeah, it too didn't much. <laughs> so yeah. I try to just let it be. <laughs> yeah. That's very good. That's very good. Is there anything else you want to share that might be Oh, a you know, bit? everybody loves the winery cat here. She's been here for eight years. Have you seen her? <sighs> yeah. No, I think I see. I can't remember what she looks like, but She's I remember you telling me. She's a beautiful tuxedo cat. Yes, and she is kind of like your little. Uh, what would you call her? A pain in the neck sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a great mouser. You told me she was a good mouser one she's time. She's getting a little old and cranky. <laughs> is she? Okay. I guess we're passing that up here. Okay, it was really a genuine joy. Thank you, Chu. You're welcome. So much. I really appreciate it. I can't tell you um, how good the wine is. As a matter of fact, when my husband asked me if I'm coming down here, I have to bring back like three bottles because <laughs> he has his, I have mine. But come down here, talk to June, get to know her. She's wonderful, and I cannot, I cannot say that enough. And I'm really appreciative. Thank you. You're welcome. The uh, events that are coming up, please go to Facebook. Um, and uh, it'll give you more um, description on what events there are. She does have, um, you have a room in the back for banquets and for mm -hmm. events. Is that right? Yeah, we rented out. It, it works Say out. Say hi. 
<laughs> you do rent it out? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, we're going to be here for our business quarterly meeting. I'm really hoping that Zach has reached out to you, but I know that Michelle said to call you. So think about, consider coming out here and having an event or a party. Yeah, you can talk to June and just quiz her. Anyhow. <laughs> Thank you again, June. You're I welcome. appreciate it. Okay.